Milhouse, the leader from Arkle Arkle He was by far the most superior three mile chaser that there's ever been, that ever will be. And this is it with Arkle just taking the lead as they come to the last fence. And I was standing at the last fence and coming to the last, he was sort of a couple of legs clear, Arkle. He landed on the run in and then he just took off. And it was one of the strongest memories I have of my whole racing life. It sort of hit you in the eyes and I turned to my friend, whoever it was, and said, what the F's that? What is it? It was like another species, you know, perhaps he was. He was quite different. And then he absolutely bolted up the next festival and it became part of Chelton's attraction. Physically interesting to look at. He, he was different walking around the paddock. He had a very high head and he had very long ears. You could see him above the crowd. Coming to the last, a fence clear of Dormant and great cheers from the crowd as he rises to it, carries himself. You loved him because he had a heart as well as brilliance. To do it once is one thing, but to go on doing it. I was so, so lucky. He's the best three mile chase I've ever seen. No question. It's Arkle striding away, well clear of Brasher in second place. Then comes Freddie and Wayward Queen. No, he jumps it like a champion, roars from the crowd. And there's Arkle striding up to the line, the runaway winner of his third successive Gold Cup.